What is good guys, back with more ulti round 1, this time Pekat versus Ojama, he's just gonna fake out here, and it looks like Medicham is a really big threat to Pekat, and Zard is a really big threat to Ojama, but Ojama at least has checks to the Zard, uh, like he can probably switch into Garchomp here, which can take any one hit outside of HPIs, which I don't think it's gonna be HPIs, it's Fire Blast instead of Flamethrower, and he gets a burn, so really lucky. Uh, Ojama can get the rocks up here, or he can pull a double switch, anticipating the Tapu Fini to come out. Um, I'm thinking um, Ojama probably made this Z-move guard jump and changed the Coco's item. He brought a team that Blunder used in uh, Smog Twist to beat Ojama and he put guard jump over Gliscor. Uh, guard jump is obviously the rocker and most likely the Z-move user. So I assume he changed the Coco to either Shuka or the Magnet, then it specs um, Battlebond Greninja if he didn't change the team. Mega Medicham looks super scary because Pekard's team is so slow. Like his Medicham counter is winning the speeder with Zard. Or, or like getting a static power with Zapdos, which, which I don't even know if he's static Zap on this team because he has Misty Terrain on Finny. He might be Scarfta because his team is so slow, I'm not really sure. And then yeah, it's gonna be um, potential double defog on Zap on, on Finny. Rocks on uh, either Pharaoh or Glyph or... And yeah, he goes for defog there, predicting Ojama to go for rocks, so good play. But Ojama can uh, either spam rocks or he can also go into his tank, but he gets up the rocks right there. Now he can go into Coco here, and he can just pull a double here into Medicham, because um, Pekat is either gonna go into Pharaoh or he's gonna go into Gliscor. Uh, U-turn is also a completely fine play, but doubling uh, would've prevented him from taking Iron Barbs. Now Medicham can just um, click Zen Headbub here, because that's the move that hits Tapu Fini the hardest. Good play, but he misses. Um, Pekat is lucky right there. And it's really obvious that Pekat is going to pivot into Tapu Fini, breaking the Ice Punch. So let's see if Ojama puts his balls on the table. Yop! <laughs> Goat! And yeah, Zen Headbutt is a 2 KO, so you can just click that again. And now Zard has to come out and win the speed tie. Because uh, he doesn't have other counterplay. Even if the t is Scarf, the Medicham is still at full. And I think Scarf Crunch only does like 50 to 60 is my guess. That's a head calc. So he has to go Zard and he has to win the speed die right here. Ojama is not going to risk it. Um, I think he's going to switch into his Greninja, which should be able to um, live a Fire Blast. And Pekat kind of has to roost here. Well, this is tough for him. Because if he doesn't roost, his Zard dies to rocks the next time. Um, but yeah. There's no reason for Ojama to risk the speed tie here, because this Medicham gets a kill. Whenever it comes out, pretty much, it ice punches the Glisco, it high jump kicks the Pharaoh. Um, I guess if Zapdos is static, it could potentially be bad for Ojama. He hard grants on the Roost. Now, uh, Pharaoh's on is really obvious here, so he could just double back into Medicham and get another kill if he wants to do that. He could also just, um, yeah, he goes for Dark Pulse, which is okay. I think I would have doubled back into Medicham there, but um, Dark Pulse was a safe play. And now. Because Dark Pulse, even if it didn't kill the Zard, it would have brought the Zard in range where it dies from rocks in case the Zard stayed in. So I guess it was a safe play in that regard. Now he goes Heart Manage him <laughs> on the spike, and now he can just click High Jump Kick here. Uh, well, I guess he could also Ice Punch or Zen, predicting um, switch into Zap or Glisco, but High Jump Kick is completely fine in my opinion. As long as, as, long as the Zap is not static, um, High Jump Kick was always the play there. So he pivots on the T-Tap, predicting an Ice Punch, which confirms that he's Scarfta, because he wants to outspeed and chip the Medicham down, but he gets frozen there, uh, which I don't think that matters. And in my opinion, Ojama had that game won no matter what. So High Jump Kick's the t -ta, and yeah, we see T-Tap would have moved, moved first. Um, it is frozen. So goes Zap now, which in this range, from this range, Zapdos can live anyone hit from Medicham. Oh, Jama might want to switch into his Tangrowth or Coco here, but he can also just go for Ice Punch. He doesn't need Medicham to win, but he could save it. Worst case for Ojama would be, um, is this Static Zapdos? Let me see. It, we don't see, we don't see um, pressure, so I think it's Static, but he gets crit and he also doesn't get the para uh, from Static. I think it was Static, but yeah, he says GG and he's gonna forfeit. Because there's no way to win. I mean, Greninja is going to get Ash pretty soon. Because the Ferrothorn is already chipped and the Finny is already dead. Goes on Azar and wins this potential speed tie. I didn't call if Ojama's Medicham is adamant. I assume it was uh, Jolly. Now we can just click Dark Pulse here. Gets his Ash form. Uh, Ferrothorn can live a hit still and go for Power Whip. But yeah, this game is wrapped up. Because if he Dark Pulses the Ferrothorn, the Ferrothorn gets super low. And he has to go for Power Whip. He obviously gets flinched, which I don't think it makes a difference. Because uh, Ferrothon being low, if Coco has HPIs, it probably would have um, killed Ferrothon with T-Bolt and then brought Glithgor super low with HPIs. Um, he probably also has HPIs on Tang. Uh, Celesteela is also good versus Glithgor, so um, I don't know if I would have stayed in with the Grand to on the Ferrothon, but he could have also gone into like Tang growth, which would have 
eaten anything and then could have gone for like knock off or HPIs. But yeah, does get the flinch and wins the game. Game one super fast, and I'll see you guys with game two in a bit. Good fucking god, this was fast. I don't like teams like Playcards, they're way too slow, and you guys could see Medichim just destroyed him. And yeah, be right back with game two. <laughs> 